All right, now let's check the model answer. Number two, Amina explained it to her coworker. Three, Sarah will give them directions. Four, he wants to buy her dinner. Five, he handed it to the woman. All right, task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, question, rewrite the sentences switching the order of the direct and indirect objects. They have a mark of eight. Number one, the caterers served refresh refreshments to them. Two, Amina showed the program to him. Three, she sent him an email. Four, the student brought her the information. And you have three minutes to switch between direct and indirect objects. All right, now let's check the answers. But before that, you need to use the self-correcting tools. As you have finished, after you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now, let's check the model answer. Number one, the caterers served them refreshments. Number two, Amina showed him the program. Number three, she sent an email to him. Number four, the student brought the information to her. Well done. 
give yourself a tap on the back and two marks for finishing the lesson, then calculate your mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Number one, now you are able to use the direct and indirect objects in sentences, and you have a mark of 20. If you have 100% correct answers, that means 20 marks, then proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or above, that means 50 marks or more, then go over part that you failed in the lesson and redo it. If you have 75% or lower than that, that means uh, 15 marks or lower, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck, thank you for your attention.